What did you need? Oh yeah, you should have just said so. I can be there at seven. Really? Who? All right, I'll see you at seven. I can't believe you're already in a boys band. You've only been in the States for like, what, three months? In Spain, I was in many boys bands. It's like you're also an exchange student, but from the Navajo nation. <laughs> well, Spain's sounding a lot better to me right now. You know it's nine o'clock, right? Oh my gosh, I'm supposed to be there at seven. Why don't you try setting your alarm clock? Michelle, grab me a shirt, please. Here, try this one. I don't care if this is the picture you think should be in the story, and yet you somehow managed to make a bunch of illegals as the focus of the shot. How do you know they're all illegals? This is a daily newspaper. I need photojournalists who will accept their assignment and fulfill it within the story boundaries, not go up on some wild tangent of their own. Well, I can go and reshoot it. No, it's too late. You had your shot. Donovan's already on it. Donovan? Donovan. 
get out. Hey, Mom. Hi, how are you doing? Shouldn't leave the door unlocked. I've been worried about you. Why haven't you returned my phone calls? I had a crazy day at work today. What happened? Nothing, just got in a little tiff with my boss. Who's this for? It's for your Masani. It's pretty, huh? Pretty fall colors. Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. How's she doing? Well, that's what we need to talk about. Are you even listening to me, Mom? I told you I already bought my ticket. No one else can stay with her, and we're not gonna put her in a home. What about Yanaba? Has anybody even asked her? She stayed with her last summer, and she starts summer school next week. And that's when Michelle and I are going to Europe. There's nothing out there for me. Your Masani's out there, and you love to ride horses. Mom, like I even remember how to ride horses. How long ago was that? Why don't you go? I can't. I gotta take care of James and Ernie. And to be totally honest with you, your Masani asked for you. It's not about me. Your Masani has her reasons why. Maybe this is just one of those times where she randomly picked me. Does she even know I'm going to Europe? I know you spent a lot of money on that plane ticket, but you can't put a price on family. Sweaty. I'll get it. How was your day, Michelle? Turquoise. Turquoise. Hey, what's wrong? Will you please let me in? Hey, come out and talk to me. I know when you run in the middle of the day in 150 degree weather that something is wrong with you. Okay, I'm coming in. I'm gonna bust your door open. One, two, three. Turquoise, really, what's wrong? Talk to me. It's like the same thing keeps running through my head. My mom's saying, oh, family is more important than money. And usually I would just forget about it and leave it alone, you know? But it just keeps bothering me and it keeps playing over. I know it's hard. I agree with your mom, but not in this situation. I think she's just trying to use the guilt trip to get you to go to the reservation. Yeah, I know. You know it's not an option to back out right now, right? Yeah, I know. We're a flight away from making this happen. I know, I know. We've been talking about it since, like, forever. And what about your photography book? Are you gonna just not go and start that now? I know, I thought about that. I thought about a lot of stuff, Michelle. I'm supposed to call this guy named Sam at the Trading Post and leave him a message for my Aunt Mary. You need to hurry up and do it. They have to find someone else to take care of your grandma. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm on my way right now. Okay. 
No more excuses, turquoise. Welcome to the real world. You won't get away with being late every day out there. If I were hiring you as a regular employee, you would be gone right now. You wouldn't even be standing here talking about it. You can't come in late day after day and then accept assignments and go off on your own and do whatever you want. Hey T, I got the backpacks. They didn't have any purple, so I got us both green. We can be twins. Michelle, I know you think I'm crazy, and I probably am, but my heart won't leave me alone. I hope you'll forgive me for not waiting to tell you in person, but I have to go help my grandmother. You can do whatever you want with my ticket. I'm sure you won't have trouble finding someone who wants to go with you. Take care of yourself out there, and watch out for those Euro boys. Love you and miss you already. T. P.S. Be sure to take some pictures for me. Sweet morning light touches the eastern sky as I'm standing on this reservation road. Been looking forward to this day, but now I want this road. This road takes me back to my baby's house. Reservation Road, take me home, carry me onward, back to her. Reservation Road, take me home, carry me Sadi <laughs> Reservation wrong Take me home Carry me on back to her reservation road. Take me home. Carry me on back. 
Sheep camp is. You lost? Yeah, sorta. So where are you coming from? Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix. I got a few relatives that live out there. So you know how to get there? Yeah. You just go down a ways. There's like a pile of trees on the side, you know? You just take a left, go like what, two miles? Then there's a fork in the road. Just take the left, then keep on going. There's a big, big rock. Can't miss it, you know, it's to the right of that. Down this way? Yeah. All right, thanks. Reservation wrong. Reservation. Take me home. Carry me on. Back to her. Back to her. Back to her. Back to her. Take me home. Oh. Hey, Auntie. Hey, yeah. I'm glad you're here to help my son out. Yeah, I got lost mm. on the way coming in. How's everything going? Oh, she remembers you when you were little, and she said you still have a sheep here, too. Really? Where are they at now? I didn't see them when I was coming in. Well, we'll show you, and let's get you settled in first. Okay. <laughs>
Well, looks like you found Grandma's place. I got you working out here already? Yeah, pretty much. I started working this morning, so. Yeah, what is your name? I didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. Harry. Harry Bahi. Toto ni inchle. Tka bahi bashish chin. I'm sinji kina e um dashuche. I don't know Kiani e shinala. And those are your clans, then, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm yucca fruit on a string, born for red running into water. That's all I know. <laughs> My mom made sure that I knew those two, but other than that, I'm not too sure. Well, um, out here, it's good to know your clans. In case you need money, you know who to borrow it from. <laughs> What did you need now? I'm sorry, I oh. don't know if you... I'm sorry, I'm Sam with the trading post. He sent me over to check on um, Shema and, um, you know, to drop out some groceries and a couple of things that she requested. Okay. Well, I can help you unload them. That way okay. you don't have to worry about where to put them. By the way. Yeah, I know. Turquoise Rose. Turquoise Roan Horse, actually. So, how's she doing? Not too good. We're gonna have a ceremony for her on Friday. My Aunt Mary let me know this morning, so. So, have you ever been to one of those? Not since I was little. So, since I was like two or three. But, how do you know my grandma? Um, small Riz. Hmm. So, what do you do at the trading post? I basically just do deliveries for people out here. Since I grew up here in the reservation, all the back rows, so Sam has me doing deliveries. But I only work for Sam part-time. What else do you do? Um, I'm an artist. I do sculpting and drawing. Maybe you can visit my studio sometime. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. All right, well, tell Sam I said thanks. All right, I'll see your grandmother later. All right, bye. Oh, hi, oh, hi. You make my world, you make my world go round. You make the rain, you make the rain fall down. Shut out of it! Shut out of it! Shut out of it! Shut out of it! Shut out Hey, bro, you still got a real job, huh? You got that sculpture you owe me? It's almost done. Hey, bro, you gonna give me some of that real job money? <laughs> yeah. Yes, give me that one too, man, come on. Hey, all right, hey, I'll have it to you by Friday then, right? We'll see. <laughs> Here, my son. I don't think I can mess up on this.
Hey, Mom. Yeah. Yeah, she's doing good. I just made her some tea now. Yes, I'd still rather be in Europe. Okay. Yeah, we'll be here. Okay. All right, just call me when you get here then. Okay, bye. I'm proud of you, Turquoise. Makes me happy to see you here. Especially your Masani. So do you still regret not going? It's not Europe. So have you heard from Michelle? No. I don't blame her either. Jeez, Mom, aren't you cold? Honey, I grew up here. Maybe I should have rode you in the snow some more. Nidhi, that is a nice horse. Nidhi, that really is not a. They are both are you old? They're bad, this will get bad, this.
Are you okay? Mm, I just had a quid on sitting in the knee. Not my son. This will help. Thank you, Shia. This kid didn't all you better than the Hanatan store in and then you are in Zida. More water? Hey. Hey, how's it going? Okay. What are you doing way out here? I just... I just wanted to see if everything was okay. It's not far. I just live right across the way. So how's she doing? Not too good. She was feeling a little dizzy earlier, so... I went ahead and had her lie down and drink some water, so... She's kind of resting right now. Yeah, it's Ishma. Yeah, it's Ishma. Yeah, it's Ishma. It's hospital. It's Oh. What are you guys talking about? We're talking about power that's happening tonight in Open Wind Rock. Like dancers and everything all set up? Yeah, have you ever been to one before? They've had them on campus before, but I just never went to check one out. Oh, this? Oh, gotcha. So where's your truck? Oh, the other tire blew out of my truck. <laughs> so Sam let me use his. So you take pictures, huh? Yeah, I want to be a photojournalist. Yeah, I take pictures now and then. What kind of camera you have? It's just a camera that my mom used to have. So, it's a nice one. We are, we are, we are, we are, we How long have you been doing this? I've been doing it for about three years now. I'm still learning, though. I think the last time I saw feathers on a Navajo was in a John Wayne movie. <laughs> it's not It's not really a, a Navajo thing. This is, Powell is more like a, a native thing. Oh, a native thing, huh? Yeah, I remember the first Powell I went to. My grandparents didn't really want me to go. Because like I say, it's not really a novel thing, but I went anyway. I remember standing there on the grass when the grand entry began. The dancers started coming in. As I stood there, I felt a familiar feeling. A feeling that's kind of hard to explain, but it was real strong. And the dancers kept coming more and more and the drums just got louder and stronger. And even though this wasn't my way, I realized something, that these dances were my family. They were like my relatives. They were my people from all around the country. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So what you think? It's cool. I like it. Where are they all from? They're from everywhere. Idaho, the Dakotas, even from Canada. So, are you gonna take some pictures or are you just gonna hold that thing all night? Are you sure it's okay? Yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. All right, this is last call for men's traditional. Men's traditional, last call. Oh, this is the best one. Arena director, our men's traditional ready. We got the high sign there already. Take it away. No, 
Hello? Yeah. Uh-huh. She's where? Are you serious? All right. scan so they're gonna find out no I couldn't get a hold of her I think she went to Utah this weekend all right so you'll be here in a few hours then okay all right you too all right bye mom Yes, she has had a stroke, and there may be some paralysis on the left side of her face, um, some droopy eye, and you know maybe her, her mouth. I'll keep her in mind, and let me know if there's anything I can do. Don't worry, everything will work out. Yeah, thanks. So how are you holding up? I'm good, I'm just glad my mom is here. So I hope Sam isn't mad. Well, you don't have to worry about that, you understand. Well, I gotta get going, so just, um, if you ever need anything, just call the trading post, so. All right, well, thank you, right. Harry, yeah. I appreciate it. Hey, my son. I let the sheep out this afternoon. I think I'm just gonna get some hay. That way, I don't have to keep going back and forth. You look good, my son. She's told me what you've been doing for her. And how I can't get any of it right. Mm, not true, honey. You're doing a good job. Well, my son has been really patient with me. So, I'm glad we're hanging out. You ready to go home, my son? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Hey, bro. It's Friday. Do you have anything for me? It's almost done. I don't want to lie to you or anything, but I meant next Friday, bro. Well, if I don't have anything by next week, I want my money back. Hey.
Hey, Sam. Just wondering if you can give me more upfront money for that piece. No chance. But we're talking business. I'm not doing business with you. Why I got not? Customers in here. Why just give me some money? No, man. You you already promised me two pieces. I know, Sam. You promise you don't keep your word. But Sam, you've known you me since me I was do? a little kid. Come on. No. no. Help me out. 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 Come on, just help me no, out one more get time. Out. Get out. No, Sam. Come on. You I'm can do have this. To call you the can. Cops. Cop. What? Sam. Why would they help you? You're just some white man trying to keep us Indians down. Come on, Harry. Come on, man. You're my brother, Harry. Why do you want to help that white man out? Chill out. Whose side are you on? You're my little brother. You owe me, Sam. She loves you, Turquoise. We all love you, and we're very proud of you. It's like I'm, I'm glad to be back, and, you know, at first, of course, I wanted to go to Europe, you know? You know how long I saved for that ticket. I guess I kind of regret not coming out and spending time with my son earlier. I mean, just the different things I did in the summers, I, I never made the time to come out. And I don't know, like these past few weeks, I'm, I'm glad to be out here. And, you know, I want to come out here more, maybe even next summer. It's like I'm learning a lot. She knew something, obviously, because you're home. She loves you, Turquoise. Hey, I got yeah. my message. Yeah. The bag's in the back? Yes. Come on. Go get the door. OK. Thanks for doing that. It was really sweet of you. It's no problem. So, do you like horses? Horses? Yeah, my uncle, my uncle Billy, he's got a lot of horses at his place. He's got one that's nice and fast and strong. They also have a few gentle ones. Well, what if yeah. I want the fast one? <laughs> well, your mom says you haven't ridden in a while. Did she tell you to take me? Well, <laughs> good night, Harry. We well, have a good night. Tell your mama said hi. Wish you get all happy. <laughs> Come on, horsey. Hey. We can usually round them up pretty quick, but I guess they're not used to city girls. That's all right. This one's nice and gentle. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think of my black stallion? I don't know. Can I race my gentle horse here? I don't know. I don't know if I want to make you cry. Well, let's see then. Here we go. All right. Hasta la pasta. She 
said she had a dream of me standing by a crystal river. Why do we pray on mountains? Is it because I feel strong with you? Hey, ah, hey. She gave me sacred turquoise, always to remember her. Her sweet smile stays with me. I hold on to her touch. Hey, ah, hey. Turquoise way we dream sacred stone between us Turquoise way sings to you like gentle I haven't talked to Michelle yet. Hopefully she talks with me when I get back to Phoenix. I can't believe you spent all that money on a ticket you didn't even use. That's crazy. I would have went. I would have loved to have seen all the art of Europe. The Louvre, the Sistine Chapel. Michelangelo's one of my heroes. The dude's the master. Yep. So is your horse ready to run again? Are you serious? That's like the longest bike ride I've ever been on. Really? <laughs> so you never really told me about your family. How's your mother? Well, my mom was a beautiful woman. She never really complained until my, my dad left, you know, for her to raise us kids all on her own. How long has she been gone? She's been gone now, five years. What about your brothers and sisters? Well, my sisters, they, they work in St. Michael's at the Days Inn. And they're just happy to have jobs. And your brother? Well, he's around. So how long are you plan on staying out here? I don't know. Back to the real world, huh? I wouldn't say that. Then how would you say it? It is better than I thought it was going to be. Like, like how? I don't know, just being here. Like, I was here when I was, like, two or three, and just everything is just not what I expected it to be, I guess. I guess I kind of see things like how a tourist would see it before I came here. Like how we're all drunks and how we still live in teepees? No, not at all. I guess I just never really appreciated, you know, just the beauty of everything. I mean, even just now in the rain and being up at the summit and just the people I've met. That's what I try to show with my art, to show the beauty of how we are as a people, as a tribe, as a nation. Even my grandma, I mean, she's so beautiful. I mean, she has no teeth and her hair is gray, but she's so simple and she's happy and well, your grandmother's a very lucky woman. And this res boy will never forget you. I'm glad you gave up Europe. in town. Are you Miss Navajo? You're pretty skinny. <laughs> hey, can you spare a quarter? Come on. Uh, she has you. Can you pay over there? 
Ma'am, can I help you find anything? Um, no, I just came to get a few items. So. Mm, you're sort of new around here. Are you from the Yazzie family? No, I'm actually here just for the summer. I'm staying with my grandma up at the summit. Oh, you're turquoise. I'm Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. Thank you for everything. How's your grandma doing? She's good. She's in the car if you want to see her. Oh, great. I'd love to. Uh, can I get her some things? Um, sure. Well, is there anything special you needed? Um, nothing in particular. Oh, let's go see Grandma. Hey, Sam, you got a can over? Hey, my sonny. Oh, Oh, uh, Grandma's doing a lot better now, huh? How are you holding up? Good. She's. I'm just glad she's doing good. We really appreciate you doing this. You don't have to do any of this. So. Oh, it's no problem. I'm glad to do whatever I can for Grandma. She means a lot to me. Um, I bought my first rug from her out here years ago, and. Uh, kind of put my foot in my mouth and offered her a lot less than she usually got. So I had to kind of grovel for a <laughs> while and go around and apologize until I won her trust back. And we've been good friends ever since, so. Well, thank you, Sam. We appreciate that. All right, then. Is Harry uh, here by any chance? Uh, he left about an hour ago. Oh, OK. Uh, took off for home. Do you know where he lives at all? Sure. Uh, I can draw you a map if you want. All right. Hey, Sam. That's Miss Navajo, man. I see what her clan is, Sam. Jeez. <laughs> Who is that? It's Turquoise, Harry's friend. <clears throat> wait, wait a minute. <clears throat> Harry doesn't live here. He's, he doesn't stay here. Um, hold on. Let, let me get up. No, I'll, I'll, I'll show you where he lives, OK? Hold on. Oh, it's you. Hi. You selling Girl Scout cookies? No. You're not here for child support, are you? No, I'm just kidding. Harry lives over there in that Hokan, way over there. Tell him to pick up his kids at 3. All right, I'll let him know. All right, we'll see you. See you. And then I told her that I wanted to marry her. But she said, you've got to steal a candy bar. Hey, don't stop for me. It's cool <laughs> watching you work. So how'd you find me? Small res. <laughs> well, this is it. So what do you think? Wow, it's... Dirty, right? No, I've never seen anybody sculpt before. Really? Yeah, it looks like hard work. I saw Uncle Billy again. <laughs> what did he have to say? Well, he said, don't forget to pick up your kids in an hour. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> so what's the sculpture going to be of? I'm thinking a Cherokee princess. Are you part Cherokee? Isn't everyone? <laughs> so you want anything to drink or anything? 
No, I gotta get going. My son is in the car. You left my son out there? Yeah, well, I just wanted to stop by and see where you live and, and pass on a message, too. Sam said something about having to talk to you, something in regards to your brother. Really? Did he say why? No, he didn't. And also, I wanted to see if you were up for dinner on Thursday night. Yeah, sounds good. I'm always up for free food. All right, cool. So I'll see you on Thursday, then. Yeah. All right, better get going. Shimasana, thank you for being so patient with me. I'm really glad I came out here this summer. Like it, Smasana? Mmm, ah, it's a Just the first time you ever cooked this? <laughs> no, I cook it all the time. Okay. Sorry, we didn't have an oven, so it's not very warm. Yeah. I think it's <laughs> not all good. But it's still good, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, what did you do today, Harry? <clears throat> Chopped out some, some wood over at Mary's house down the way. Mm. It's all right. She wasn't there, but her dogs let me in. <laughs> I don't think I can fit another bite in. Do you have any aluminum foil? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you've never roasted marshmallow. <laughs> I know. Well, thanks for the food. It was good. I had a good time. Me too. To walk in the ways of my grandfather. Was on her half a yard. Shut up a yard, was on all this goddess. A half a yard, was on all this. Was on it, was on all this. Shut it up, you are in it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, they've been a masana. 
Harry, you've got to stop protecting him. We need to get him some real help. Otherwise, I'm forced to call the police. You know, he's been an embarrassment to your family, especially your late mother. So how much do I owe you for the display case? I don't want to take your money on behalf of your brother, what he's done. Um, we need to get him some real help. It's called hard love. It's time we do it. How's it going, man? I never knew you could dance. Neither did I. How come you guys aren't dancing? I'm related to all of them. And these guys here, they're too shy to dance. I'm just looking for the perfect one. Oh, this is Turquoise. Turquoise Rose? Roan Horse, actually. Nice to meet you. I'm Dylan. This is my cousin, Big John. What's up? Hi. I'm Skylar. And that's Ed. He's a little shy. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a lady out there that's going to want to dance with you guys tonight. If you find her, tell her I'm available. I will. So you want to dance with me? Yeah. Wow, that never happened before. <laughs> cool. I'm that close to calling the cops. I'll pay 
back for all the damages. Get off him. Just get him some help. He's not coming. Don't go back to Leia. You've got to give him a chance to explain this. I needed him the most. He wasn't even there. T, do you want me to call your mom? Please. I wish there was some way I could change your path. 
vacation on the res and I know your grandmother died and it's hard trust me I know my mother died a few years ago in the middle of a big deadline I made the funeral and I made the deadline turquoise you have got to learn turquoise stop I'll see to that you never get hired in this town and I know all the editors in the valley Hey, you sure you're doing the right thing? Listen, we're not buddies and we're never gonna be, but maybe I admire you, you know? I don't know that I would have traded a trip to Europe to go stay with my grandmother. What do you want? Nothing, here. Heard what Copley was saying in there and I don't agree with her. This stuff's really good. It might even be the best this internship thing has ever seen. Listen, don't tell anyone I told you this, but you shouldn't be working here, not the newspaper. Just tell him I sent you, okay? Thanks. Yeah, good luck. Really nice. I really like what you've done in that one. Where, where did you take that at? Um, that's actually up at the summit at my grandma's place. It's on the Navajo Nation. Mm. I did some of those in um, black and white also. Oh, really? Yeah, I did different prints and... Um... Yeah, like, I'd like to see those. So I guess I... So it's been so long. What'd you do this summer? Oh, been busy writing yeah. songs. Yeah. Oh. Hey, T. You look beautiful. When I heard you were back, I had to get a hold of you so you could hear my new song I'm working on. Yeah, tell her what it's called. I have reservations about the reservation. I wanted you to hear it first so that you could hear it before we record it and it becomes a big hit. The only thing is, it's in Spanish. No quiero que te vayas, ni te pido que te quedes, solo quiero que tú sepas la clac. Hold on. No quiero que te vayas, ni te pido que te quedes. Hold on, I really worked hard on it. What? No quiero que te vayas, ni te pido que te quedes, solo quiero que tú sepas lo preciosa que tú eres. Pero tengo una reservación sobre la reservación. Yo tengo una reservación sobre la reservación. Yo tengo una reservación sobre la reservación. No quiero que te vayas, solo quiero que te quedes, pero cuando... Turquoise, it's Harry. Hey. How are you doing? I'm fine. Yeah, I just wanted to call. I'm sorry about everything. Things just ended up happening different than what I had planned. For me, too. I want to know if I can come see you. Yeah, if you want to. I just want to explain, explain everything that's been going on. I have to tell you in person. I got to see you. I got to see those eyes, the eyes that never lie. When do you think you'll come down? La, 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 la. What's that music in the background? That's not your music, is it? No. I try to get a hold of you, Harry, but the circuits are always busy.
Hey, Harry, how's it going? Hey, Sam. How's your brother, Alvin? Well, he's not liking it well. Well, that's tough love. I just yeah. hope he does all right down there. I was wondering if you had that number to that guy at the herd. Did you know? Uh, Bruce McGee, sure. Uh, I think that's his name. Are you sure you're ready for that next big step? I can't wait forever, Sam. I gotta try to make something happen. Well, I wish you all the luck. Yeah. I think it's time to go for it. All right. Thanks, Sam. Take care. Doing good. Nice choice. Yeah, I don't want you to have too much of a culture shock. <laughs> yeah, my sister Margie made this for you. Oh. She thought you would like it. Turquoise rose. How original. <laughs> Thanks. So what happened that night after the chapter house dance? I mean, I didn't hear from you and just kind of disappeared. Well, um, after the dance, I did drop you off. I was on my way home, and I got a call from Sam. My brother's got a big problem with the alcohol. And you've probably seen him hanging outside the trading post. That's your brother? Yeah, it's my brother. Basically, Sam said that he was going to call the cops if I didn't come down there and pick him up. Oh, I'm sorry. Wish I'd known. So I ended up driving all the way down here to Phoenix and dropping them off at a lockdown facility that specializes in alcohol problems. They didn't have anything back on the res that you could have taken them to? Yeah, I tried taking them to places, but, you know, We no... just want to wish you happy, happy birthday to you, and many more to come. We just want to wish you happy, happy birthday to you, and many more to come. Happy birthday! Actually, it's happy neither birthday. one of our birthdays. Yeah, I think you have the wrong table. Okay, we're sorry, bud. Um, have a good day. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whose birthday is it? Okay, there we go. Over there. Ready? One, two, three. We just Wanna wish you happy, happy birthday to you. What is that all about? Anyway, <laughs> so did Michelle forgive you? Yeah, she did. We're actually planning a trip to Europe for next summer. So she went with this girl as a friend of ours. So have you ever been to the herd before? No, I haven't. I've lived here my whole life. I can't believe I've never been. I heard there was good native arts here. I always wanted to see. Well, they're going to see now. Guys, is it always this hot here? Yeah, if you wear a long sleeve black shirt. <laughs> Did you know how hot it was going to be? No. <laughs> I think it's just around the corner. So what are we doing here now? This is a new addition they put up. They have a lot of new pieces here. It's beautiful. I tried everything to get you out of my head, but nothing would work. All I could see is your face and your eyes, the eyes that never lie. Did I ever tell you that my great-grandmother was a Cherokee princess? No. Back in the 1800s oh, in California. Oh, girlfriend, well, I'm not scared to be with you 
actually have your own book published. My best friend is famous. <laughs> so. so seriously, you guys, are you engaged? Really?